I like how they wrote in the book, second do first. Are they fucking stupid? Like, the lazy fucking fat bitch was actually going to do it. And you see where it says second shift initials, what she actually did. Fucking nothing. Left all the fucking side work for me. Look at the moon. Oh my god. It's fucking so cute. It's so fucking Yeah. It's the cute moon. Uh-uh, I'd shove up my ass. Moons are lucky charms moons. They're so cute. Mmm, it's just a nice little left down. I should have my ass too. Hey Mike, how's it feel that I have two days off tomorrow and you gotta work? <laughs> oh, he has a big black cock in my ass, so I love it. <clears throat> I wish. Don't turn me on. Oh, it's my boy in a bubble! No! Kick your hat! No. I kicked your hat. Now you must kick your hat. What? This field goal over the fucking galaxy. Goals! Hey guys, girls, and females. It's Alan Kirby here. This is a weird night. Uh, we were real busy in the beginning. And, uh,. All of a sudden, it just dropped off, like, in the middle of the night. We didn't get a bar rush or nothing. It was just the weirdest freaking thing. Uh, beginning of the night, uh, I had somebody in there bitching that there was no cups, no straws, no lids, no creamer, no nothing. And it was funny because I'd only been there for 10 minutes. So it was basically pointed at the new girl who doesn't do a fucking thing. All the new girl did was put her head down. It was pretty fucking funny. So yeah, we were pretty much dead. Um, as you saw on the list, nothing was done. Nothing they were supposed to do was done. Um, but by the time I left, everything on the list was done. But when that... She was getting horrid, that shit was funny. Because she knew it was about her. And that, that's what you get. If you don't have anything done and there's nothing there for the customers, they're going to bitch at you. So the best thing to do is to get that fucking shit done. But they don't. Got the next two nights off. So I don't have to fucking be in that shithole for two nights. Hallelujah. Because man, I need these two days off. So I did say I was going to release some stuff today. I am. I'm going to at least release something. But I have a busy freaking day today. Um, mainly because I got to go shopping for my niece. Uh, still haven't got her birthday gift yet. Uh, just didn't have the time. Really. Because we both. Me and my girlfriend both work. Uh, different shifts. So. It's just impossible to, to plan things out. Because. You know, either she gets off when I'm going in or, you know, or she's working while I'm sleeping. So it, it's just hard to to get things going or if she's off when I'm sleeping. Um, so it's almost impossible to plan shit out. Just found out my assistant manager was trying to throw shade at me too to one of our regulars. Um, Basically, she was cleaning the, on the night she had to close, she was cleaning the coffee pots. With, uh, boil-out solution, by the way, which you're not supposed to do. But, um, that can make somebody very, very sick. So, um, she basically tried to throw shade at me and say, uh, I'm doing this because Alan doesn't do anything. And, uh, are you fucking kidding me? Even the head manager was like, you do everything around here. I run around that place like a fucking man possessed. Like, even my head manager was like, I've watched you on camera before when you work, and you just run around the whole fucking time. I'll take breaks to smoke, or if I'm hungry, eat a little something, but for the most part, I'm on the go. I'll wait for customers to come up to the counter, I pay attention to the counter, but for the most part, I go. Because there's always so much shit left for me it's not even funny you know as I showed you case in point that's what the list looks like every night that is the checklist for side tasks that you're supposed to complete and sign off on every 
fucking shift. And the managers, the, the supervisors, uh, like myself, are supposed to do what is called a walkthrough. Which basically, it's just, you check everything, and if they did it, you check it off. If they didn't, you put an X. Nothing was done, so of course I X the whole fucking thing out. Even though I didn't film that. Me and Mikey were having fun last night because we were pretty much dead for, you know, a couple hours. And, uh, we were kicking the hat. That's our little thing that we do. That's our little game. We'll just, like, punt our hats around. We'll just kick them. We don't knock anything over or damage anything because they're fucking visors. They don't weigh that much. So we just kick our visors because it's something fun to do when we're fucking bored. Um... So, we just had a fun-ass time, dude. Like, we always do. I love Mike. I even seen him. We went to McDonald's for breakfast. And he's got this little motorbike. And he was sitting at the, uh... He was sitting at the red light. And we were just like... Because he showed me this weird-ass uh, bath salts porno. Uh, it's on E-Fucked. It's, it's a bunch of funny porn. Don't go there. But if you do there, go there. It's funny. But, uh... Yeah, so... There's this thing where he said, like, Spody Doty. I don't know what the fuck that means, but the guy in, in the video said Spody Doty. And then he said, uh, are you gonna pay for this? I'm not gonna pay for this. And he kept saying, I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. Like, it's so fucking funny. And he, like, runs across the room into the girl. Like, it's, it's funny. So, he showed me that. So, I basically yelled Spody Doty at him at the light, and he turns his head... And he just stares over there. And then I was like, I'm not going to pay for this. You won't pay for this? I'm not going to pay for this. He just gets his big ass smile and he yells it back at me. I, I love working with Mike. Like, when we're bored, we have a fun ass time. You know, we just say crazy things. And a lot of times we, qu we quote South Park. Because South Park's my favorite show of all time. And uh, it's one of Mike's favorite shows of all time. So, he's seen... Just about, I think he's seen every episode too, as well as I have, because I've watched that show religiously since I was in seventh grade. Uh, South Park came out when I was in seventh grade. And I remember when it first advertised, all the kids in school were like, You gonna watch South Park tonight? I was like, Fuck yeah, I'm gonna check that shit out. And fell in love instantly with that show. Of course, the first one's the anal probe episode. <laughs> I, was in, I was hooked from then on. I just liked it. I liked the animation. I liked the jokes. I liked the characters. I just thought it was a fucking great Class A show. It's my favorite show of all time. You know? And of course, I've got the Professor Chaos tattoo. Because Butters is my favorite character of all time. I was actually going to get just a Butters tattoo. And my boy that was doing it was like... Like, yeah, I'll do it. So he starts getting ready to do it. And uh, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't just get a regular Butters. Because there's probably a lot of people out there that have a regular Butters tattoo, maybe. So I was like, let's do something a little different. Maybe do his alter ego, uh, Professor Chaos. And he was like, oh, that's brilliant. So it ended up being fucking Professor Chaos. But yeah, I got tonight off. As I said, I got to go to my brother's. I got to go shopping. Uh... My girlfriend's cousin's boyfriend died, so they got to go to his viewing. So, it's just kind of a busy night tonight for us. She really can't help me film and stuff because she's got a shitload of things to do as well. So, yeah. Uh, but I am going to release something, at least. I'm just glad to be off and I'm glad to be relaxed. Like, five days of fucking bullshit leads to these two days of fucking freedom. I love it. I love it. Your boy curves out of there, man. It was actually a fun night. It this week was not bad at all, as I said. I've said it a couple times this week. It's not it wasn't that bad. Now it's my Sunday freedom. And Eagles training camp has already started. Which means Sundays are going to be full of football. I cannot wait. To see the mean green out there and whooping ass, man. Fucking love my Philadelphia Eagles. Started watching the Eagles when I was four years old. 
and I've followed them. I got to see Randall Cunningham play, Donovan McNabb, Mike Vick, now Carson Wentz, Nick Foles, Jeff Garcia. I've seen some good quarterbacks go through Philly that I've got to watch play over the years. Uh, a lot of good Eagles teams. Like in the late 90s, early 2000s, the McNabb, Andy Reid, Brian Dawkins, uh, James Thrash, Todd Pinkston. There were so many. Chad Lewis. I love the uh, late 90s, early 2000s Eagles. The Andy Reid era. Uh, it's probably my favorite Eagles team of all time. Even though they didn't win the big one. Everybody's probably like, Oh, you should like the Super Bowl champion Eagles team. I do. God. Lord knows I do. Because I've waited my whole life for that moment. But... McNabb was my favorite quarterback of all time, and I just liked the way the team played back then. Um, David Akers, A.J. Feely, <laughs> Coy Detmer, fucking Ty Detmer. Fucking love the Eagles, man. So, Sundays suck without fucking football. I watch baseball sometimes. I'm an Orioles fan, but not a lot to watch there. <laughs> I've been an Orioles fan my whole life. I went to my first game when I was four years old at Memorial Stadium. My dad took me. First time I ever laid eyes on Cal Ripken Jr., I fell in love with the sport of baseball and the Orioles. Cal Ripken Jr. was my man. My dad worked security for Bank of America, and he actually got to escort Cal Ripken Jr. one time, which is badass. Like, I'm waiting for somebody cool to come into Royal Farms. But I'll probably get somebody like Kid Rock or fucking something in there. Somebody I don't want to meet. It's like, hey, I'm Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. Really don't care, bro. Like, I'm waiting for the wrestling bus to fucking, like, come through there or something. I don't know. Meet some wrestlers. Because a lot of times when something's open 24 hours a day, uh, you'll get celebrities in there. Because, you know, they don't think they'll be seen that late. And your less chance of running into people. Which couldn't be further from the truth at Royal Farms. Because I swear there is fucking constantly people in there. No matter for eating. No matter for trying to use the fucking bathroom. No matter for trying to smoke a cigarette. You know if we're just trying to have a conversation. Because me and Mike haven't fucking talked all night. Because we've both been getting fucked in the ass. Um, you know we can't do shit. We're pretty much prisoners of the, of the uh, you know community. Because we have to deal with fucking everybody. And their fucking brother. It's pretty crazy. But I'm about to get off here, guys. I am going to upload something later, obviously. As I said before, I have a busy day. So, hopefully you guys enjoy your Sunday. I know I will, because I have off. Um, as I said, I will upload something today. I will do something today, skit-wise or something like that not another vlog i might vlog again i don't know but for the most part it's it's going to be a skit or something along the lines of that so you know i gotta upload something and i, I keep saying i'm gonna upload something and then i just don't have the time to do it so i'm gonna have to make time today guys um but i'm about to head off here and relax for the rest of the morning because i'm fucking dog shit tired I'm not going to bed yet. I'm going to still be up editing and shit and just chilling. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. But for now, on this beautiful Sunday, beautiful free fucking Sunday, I'm Curb. And as always, fucking out, man. Have a good one, guys.